All right, so an interesting stylistic clash in front of this young fighter here tonight. You gotta think he's trying to figure out how best to get this fight to the ground and use his ability to pass. This guy cuts the guard with the best of them. Great technique, but also a plus athlete. And he's not afraid to lean on that athleticism and do some unorthodox things to better position himself on the ground. This guy has one punch knockout power. And when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. All right, so here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee, comma, Bruce. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon eve loving and now this is the moment ufc fans around the world have been waiting for live from the mgm grand garden arena in las vegas <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 232 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Big Daddy. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here and let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight misses with the right hand he tagged him with that right hand oh nice job by him there to slip that off him Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. He landed that punch flush. A 360-degree spinning back kick. Both fighters slow to attack, trying to get their timing down. Yeah. You have to do more than that if you want to keep it up. 
Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, slipped that left hand well, Joe. Hard inside leg kick lands. Good straight left. There's a nice exchange. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice punch by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, there's a hook, it lands. Whiffs on the elbow. Eats a, a nice right hand. Blocks the shot. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Look at that. Nice. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, good power, left kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Punch. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh! Misses a huge hook to the head. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Looking to avoid that left hand. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, big left hand there. Huge uppercut misses. Twenty seconds left. Oh, flipped him with the jab. Final seconds here in round one. Nice outside leg kick there. Looking to land the right just out of way. Round two straight ahead. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very impressive striking going on in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. So second round getting underway here. Competitive first round, Joe. Not necessarily a round of the year per se, but high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? And he eats a kick. Oh, he landed a huge up there. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but 
nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his strike on the Showing the punch. Nice punch by Lee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, Joe, that's not a good look there. I know he's trying to set up his own offense, but at what price? He moved right into that hook shot, leaned right into it, and I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Nice. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Nice shot. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, that is as good a jab as you will see. Oh. oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. A nice kick. with that hook, but misses. Under three minutes now to go round two. <laughs> nice head kick. And he connects there. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Constantly a moving target. Kick lands forward there. Oh, excellent exchange there. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Minutes now to go. And an inside leg kick. Nice punch. Oh, a huge block there. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Kick lands. 90 seconds now in round two. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, there he connected. Oh, he's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. One minute. Oh! oh! He's rocked! Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Beautiful uppercut. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his... Oh, oh, he's got him right here. Head kick! Oh, big left. And there he swung with a haymaker. He gets caught with that punch. Three coming up next. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Some really well placed strikes on display in that round.
Ariane Celeste with us tonight. gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. How about that chin? Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Caught that one on the forearm. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Hit him Come with on. that straight left there. Oh! Beautiful kick to the body. Oh! Big kick to the head. And there's a nice jab. Body kick, look at that. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just out of range with that strike. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh! Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Out of range with that one. All right, so the question beckons, how many more of these hooks can he take? He has shown a vulnerability, Joe, by leaning into his opponent's range. And if you leave your head open like that, Joe, you're going to pay the ultimate price. If he's not careful, he's going to end up twitching on the canvas. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, he clipped him with the right hand. That bruise on his torso is getting really nasty. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Just missed with that right hand. The uppercut flails and misses. Try to establish that jab. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Couldn't agree with you more. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Lee. Oh, and there is that patented head kick. Oh, he's tagging him. He is hurt. Man, this dude 
dude is relentless. He just continues to pour it on. Really as aggressive as any striker on the roster. Gotta be careful here, Joe, to not... Oh! What a fight so far! All right, so the round is over, and the fighter's eye is something that we're going to keep an eye on. No pun intended here. It's starting to swell pretty badly. It hasn't swollen shut, but if it does, they'll bring the doctor in. That is a nasty, nasty swelling that he's dealing with here. And here's a big strike to the head that stuns. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. You ready? You ready? Fourth round, right schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so next round underway here, Joe, and a lot to like tonight, but I think what jumps out of the gym for me is just the cardio on both of these guys. You know, here we are, a couple rounds in the books, and the stamina is still very high. So clearly the work these gentlemen have done in the gym, training at altitude, paying dividends here tonight. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Slips the punch. Inside leg kick lands. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. How about that chin? Lee's eye is starting to swell shut. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Landed that one. Significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just missed with the left there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Good kick. Nice. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Big left hand! He's stumbling. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Wow! Nice. Oh. Oh. He hurt him! Oh, straight right. Oh, stunning jab. Just missed with the huge kick. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. And there he swung with a haymaker. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Clean with the right hook. 
who slips the punch. Looking for the high kick. Under a minute now to go. Oh, oh big elbow. Oh. He's got him hurt here. Powerful left hand. Nice leg kick. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Well, Joe, you got to follow the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right. Oh, into the huge right hand! That's it. It was a huge punch to the body that stopped this fight. Yeah, you got to say it was a good stoppage by the referee. No denying that he was hurt significantly by that body shot. And that spelled the beginning of the end. Just outstanding placement on that strike just below the elbow. And that'll do it. You can see here from a different look, nasty shot to the body that lands absolutely perfectly. The legs go and gets the TKO. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the octagon tonight. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Big Daddy. So there he is, the man of the moment after the TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in here. A lot of people wondering if he had what it takes to take out an opponent of this quality. Well, he certainly answered those questions and then some getting his hand raised here tonight by that aforementioned TKO. Said he wanted to keep the judges out of it. Certainly a couple.